So, ladies and gentlemen, Cassie, a former girlfriend of Puff Diddy, Puff Daddy, Sean Combs, filed a federal civil lawsuit against him regarding allegations of abuse, sex trafficking, um, physical abuse, mental abuse, um, all types of all abuse, types yo. Of sexual everything, and with the request of thirty million dollars, yeah. and it caught f- absolute fire. Hashtag surviving Diddy. Surviving Diddy. People are coming out, mm-hmm. corroborating stories. Yes. Him blowing up Kid Cudi's car. Yes. Some people. Someone said that Wale is a person that he hung over the balcony. Interesting. <laughs> that is interesting because that's a, a fully grown man. But I people I've heard mm-hmm. that Diddy is a, you know he's a, he's good with his hands. He's not a chump at all in the slightest. So yeah, people are coming out corroborating stories out here, and it started piling up on the boy. Yeah, it wasn't looking good. So just for the folks who may not be clear and understand what exactly is going on, because I was an administration of justice minor. I figured I would get some documentation for you guys so that you would better understand what exactly Cassie did and why she did it and the manner in which she did it. Oh, gosh. Civil cases. Mm -hmm. A federal civil case involves a legal dispute between two or more parties. A civil action begins when a party to a dispute files a complaint and pays a filing fee required by statute. A plaintiff who is unable to pay the fee may file a request to proceed in former Paul Paris. If the request is granted, the fee is waived. Now, she filed a federal suit. She had a certain statute of limitations. She had a week left, right? She had a week left. Mm based on the experiences that she had and what she wanted to file, which was a 35 page filing with details of experiences that she had with him. Next settlement, settling differences. Yes. Just for the folks. So y'all don't, under, so y'all not getting confused. He was never up for criminal charges. No, this was a civil case, which means money. That Money was involved. She was requested said punitive damages related to the suffering and harm that she experienced. That's it. That's it. That's it. So here we are settling differences to avoid the expense and delay of having a trial. Judges encourage the litigants to try to reach an agreement resolving their dispute. The courts encourage the use of mediation, arbitration, and other forms of alternative dispute resolution designed to produce a resolution of a dispute without the need for a trial or other court proceedings. As a result, litigants often agree to a quote-unquote settlement. Settlement. Absent a settlement, the court will schedule a trial. In a wide variety of civil cases, either side is entitled under the Constitution to request a jury trial. If the parties waive their right to a jury, then a judge without a jury will hear the trial. All right. Okay. So in this in this case, she filed a suit, a civil suit against Diddy. Yes. Right. And. It was at, like she said, like Trina said, 35 pages of Mm -hmm. very detailed incidents incidents. and abuse, all these things. Right. Um, And then um, in 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 the amount of $30 million, like you said, right? Correct. Within 24 hours or so. He agreed to settle. He settled. There was a settlement, Mm -hmm. right? So now people, um, the settlement, forget about what people are saying, Mm -hmm. a settlement is to the benefit of both parties in Correct. this case, in my opinion, mm-hmm. right? Would you agree to that? I would agree. She I was going agree. for she was going for money. Yes, he was getting his name drug. Yes, uh, wh- and whether there was truth coming out or whatever it was, mm-hmm. he was getting drugged and he was facing 
in today's climate, he mm-hmm. was facing a whole other bunch of uh, problems that Correct. he didn't want. Correct. And so a settlement gives her what she wants, which is which is money. She Pins wanted his damages. And I, yeah, and I'm not saying, yeah, there you go. Perfect, because that, that sounds better. I don't want to say it. She wanted money like she was just trying to gold dig or something like that. She wanted to get compensated for the shit that she went through. Right. You're right. Punitive damages. And he no longer wanted this lingering and they, and they settled. And that's the end of it. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Why she chose to settle? I gave you the reasons. Yeah. Now, that's it. If he would have decided to go to trial, he might have been presented with some options from his attorney. Right. May told, who may have said to him, hey, if we go to trial, she may bring additional witnesses yeah man additional supporting documentation and instead of 30 million she may be awarded say a hundred million yeah in regards to said suit yep so just so everybody understands in a civil case if they would have gone forward it could have gone. Could have got away. worse, bro. It could have got worse. It could have. So it's went. easier. It, it would have been worse. Regardless. It's easier to settle it now than to drag it out because, as you're seeing on social media, many folks are coming forward with yes, said situations. People are coming with videos, interviews videos, where photos, certain things were said, and like yo, the signs up were what there. She said, backing up her trip to Dubai or Abu Dhabi, wherever she was sent for three weeks to recover. Just to heal. To heal her body. People are coming forward to support her said situation. It's not my job or my stance to um, believe or not believe. Right? Mm-hmm. I can have an opinion just from the outside, but I don't fucking know. Like, I wasn't there. Right. I have no clue. Exactly. Um, I will say this. <laughs> it looked nasty. Mm-hmm. It sounds and looks nasty, mm-hmm. and in this case, it's it doesn't. I don't have a reason of why she would make up thirty five pages of this of this shit, right? But I wasn't there. Right. I don't. I just don't know. You know what I'm saying? And then, in addition to that, with just hearing certain things over the years about Diddy, it's like it. Huh. Not, it's like eh, it. This shit might be true, but again. I don't know. Allegedly. Allegedly. All alleged. You know what I'm saying? So, man, you know, um, good luck to her, Cassie. Um, Mm -hmm. I was just mad because she had had a family. She had like a banger and a half music wise. It never came out with nothing else. One one song. One song. So here's what I'll say. Am I going to have to cut this? You have to cut (laughs) it. Here's what I'll say. I learned early, 19, 20 years old. I learned early about the industry. I learned early about what you think it is versus what reality is. Mm -hmm. I learned early about what are you willing to give of yourself and sacrifice of yourself so that you can be a quote-unquote kept woman or so that you can have the lavishes and the lifestyle and all of those things that you may not otherwise have experienced because you're said associated with X, Y, Z, whoever. And I would say for the young ladies who are out here thinking, the 90s were different. I came up in the 90s, okay? I experienced things in the 90s that probably don't really happen right now in 2023. But for the young ladies... You have to take care of yourselves and recognize abuse where there is abuse and not victim shame someone who comes forward who has experienced said abuse for, say, 20 or 10 years. Uh, I would say that um, for the folks who don't understand why she settled, Look a little deeper into the situation. Mm. Yeah. Um Look a little deeper. And that and that's all that's all legit. You know what I'm saying? Coming from of a, a woman's perspective for sure. And 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 that's, that's I would good. say also to women who are questioning it, if it was your best friend, would you believe her? Right. Or would you support her through what she had experienced? 
at that time where you were rolling with her, going to the parties, going to the mansions, going to the yachts, going to all of that stuff. But you didn't really know what she was really experiencing on the, on a low behind the scenes. Like, you know, there's okay. more to it. So I have to give a little pushback. Is there not a little bit of a false equivalency for a person who has who has no relationship with another person and hear about they hear about something that happened, it's all alleged, and them taking a stance compared to them actually knowing a person that went through it and believing them. So here I am, I'm somebody, right? And I see Cassie. Cassie says, he did all these things to me. Mm -hmm. And, and, you and I'm like, it's a money I'm like, grab? I'm like not, not, not necessarily that, mm -hmm. not necessarily that I think it's a money grab, but I don't know if it happened or not. I, I don't, I don't know. Like it looks kind of funky. I don't know. Mm -hmm. As a, as opposed to my, my girl, my home girl, my cousin comes and says, these things happen. And immediately you, you, you believe them. There's a difference between the two. But why does it have to be that victims have to have? She gave 35 pages mm -hmm. of details. Why is the population still asking for more? I don't, I don't, I haven't seen that myself. Well, or, or questioning why now? Everything that I've the seen. The why now? The why now? Now I do see the why now. The why now is everywhere. Why is she coming forward now? Why is she saying something now? That's out there. But the majority of the stuff that I've seen mm -hmm. is people pointing out Diddy and saying that he's a monster. And yes. saying all this old stuff from Diddy, mm -hmm. everything has been about Diddy, Diddy, Diddy. Mm -hmm. No one, I haven't seen anybody saying, I don't believe her or mm -hmm. why, why not. There's some small chatter there when it comes to this. But, but it is, if you the, read under the comments, there's a lot of comments on posts where people are like, oh, she was just for the money. There's and always all gonna that. there's always gonna be that though. And, and and again, there's the people that's not close to her. More than likely people that are not close to her. They don't yeah. know her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying that there's a little there I think that there should be a little bit of grace for a uh -huh. person who doesn't know her personally. Okay. To have yeah, so you know what I'm saying? Total total strangers. Total strangers. Okay, for a total stranger. <sighs> If, I mean, everyone doesn't have access to the 35-page document unless you go online and look for it. If you have money, you can hire a lawyer to write up a 35-page document. It yeah. takes zero effort from you. But it costs a lot of money to have a lawyer. Done it does. It to does. To do 35 it, pages. It does. And to file the suit. And to be prepared to, to take on a juggernaut like Sean Combs, Bad Boy, and... And and bad boy enterprises and bad boy music and Sean Combs. So now I'm going to be the bad guy here, right? Okay. So a person could say, you can you can spend some money because she got bread, right? No, for, she doesn't. For what we understand, Appara no. Isn't she married to a rich person? No, 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 she's not. So everyone's saying, oh, she ran out of money. That's why she's suing him. Okay, That's all right. So her husband so, is a personal trainer. So she doesn't have. Uh, maybe she's not a, a rich person, right? Right, because I'm not a rich person. Person, right. however, I could hire a lawyer, right. right? To 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 write a 35 page document, and mm -hmm. I could feed the information to this person, right? The and I'm just playing bad guy here, right? Mm -hmm. The um, I have an advantage because I know when that paper makes. The public appearance, mm -hmm. he's in a position where he can't take that heat because he's a celebrity. He yeah. just came out with this little album, his love album. Mm -hmm. He's just this personality. Mm -hmm. It would destroy him. Right. So this so it could be and I'm not saying this because I don't think this, but it could be a shake. It could be just a shakedown. That was suggested. It could just be a shakedown. That is what his lawyer said when the announcement came out the day before. Right. That she had initially reached mm. out to him. She threatened to write a tell-all book beforehand. Um, but let's not forget that there were rumors that Kim Porter was putting out, allegedly, a tell-all book about her experiences. I and don't, she's now deceased. I don't not believe her. Right. Cassie, I don't not believe Cassie. Right. Um, in this situation, uh, you know, naturally, like for me, when it all came out, I was like, "Damn, wow, yo," because I've been hearing stuff about him forever. 
for years. The so, rumors. Yeah, the rumors. You know what I'm saying? Whether true or not. I mean, it's like, yo, there's over years and years and years and years, like, bro, it got there's maybe there, maybe there's something to there's this. Decades worth. Damn. Decades but worth. so he has now paid. Uh, he has now reached the settlement Correct. and either he has paid or will be paying her this money to the make this amount. all go away. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious to see what the what happens after that as far as the public. Will it just get washed away in the next two news cycles? Well, someone messaged me and said, well, who is going to take him down? Mm. 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 That's a lot. People are fearing for their lives. Mm -hmm. People are afraid to say anything. You know? Listen, man. People are scared. Money, so. and, money and power, money boy. Money and power. Money and power. Yeah. I, I, What did I say? I think it was earlier we were talking. I was like, yo, I have no desire to be in that in that universe of yeah. um, Hollywood learned, industry shit. Like I, said, I have no desire to be in that I shit. learned very early. There's not a amount of money in the world that can make me compromise my belief system and and, and the, the people that I love and stuff like that. It's yeah. not happening. Right. I, I, I had no desire to move forward. I just felt like, okay, I've seen it. I thought it was cool. <laughs> it was fun. Okay, I was on TV for a little while, and um, no, I I can't do this. I can't Did do the, this to myself. Yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. So, I I mean, you know, con congratulations or mazel to <laughs> said parties as everything has closed out now. Um, as the stories continue to surface regarding different folks' experiences with um, Mr. Combs. We'll see uh, what happens from here. Uh -huh.